Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is video true, and welcome to East Shade, a game that just completely came out of nowhere for me. I was totally unaware of this one until I saw a preview for it very, very recently indeed, and I immediately fell in love because it's such a wonderful, interesting idea I can't remember actually ever seeing anywhere else before. In East Shade, you are a painter, and your job is to go around a beautiful landscape, trying to find the most scenic vistas, and then painting them, and then trying to sell those paintings to the townsfolk, and it just sounds so flipping wonderful and relaxing and chill, and I'm totally up for that today, so let's flipping go! And so we begin just floating around in a ship, everything fine so far. Okay, don't stare. Don't stare at the gazelle people, that's probably very, very rude indeed. Good day! Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. Ah, okay, so there's a bit more chatting in this game than I thought there was going to be. I thought it was mainly just wandering around and painting, but... Wander around town, learn about topics, and yeah, you'll be able to ask people about them in future. Ooh, interesting. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, oh, this has taken a turn for the worse. Okay, how about we just... Can we open this hatch? Because I'm increasingly worried that... Oh, my easels are not going to be in good shape after this. Did I ever tell you about the trip your father and I took to Eastshade? And yeah, tell me again. What is the story? Out of all the trips we took, that one was my favourite. You know, if you're ever looking for painting inspiration... I know, Mom, I know. I should go to East Shade, which I'm totally going to be doing right now, assuming I haven't just drowned. And be sure to paint the giant tree. I remember it like it was yesterday. Okay, giant tree. Got it. Okay, so some good starting tips here. Massive tree, big building from which I can see the whole town. Ah, that was my mother's last wish. You've woken. Ah. I'm guessing we didn't actually make it to Lindo then. And yes indeed, I've managed to avoid that great video game character disease amnesia. Instead, I know exactly what I was doing. I was on a ship, hit a reef, appear to be here now. I'm glad your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship's in. One doesn't last long in water this cold. So apparently this chap just lives in this cave and very kindly decided to take care of me. With... Uh, ooh. His cute little bottle, and his crate of apples, and uh, yeah, there's my easel. So, I've now got an easel. Ah, and my mother's last wishes are actually my main quest for the time being. So, uh, she wanted me to paint four specific places. Uh, giant tree, Tiffmore Bluffs, the highest peak, and the view from the top of the common tower in the big city. Gotcha. Ah, now this is cute. So, I've got a crafting menu here. So... Now I've got my easel, I just need a canvas, and for that I need two boards and two fabrics. So, uh, I need to actually scavenge for materials to do my painting. Gotcha! Oh, and flip me, this is already really, really, really damn pretty. Okay, so, uh, we're just in a, a beautiful little butterfly grove. Oh, that's lovely. And there is a bit of wood. I'm guessing that officially counts as one plank for crafting purposes, right? No, that's not a board, that's a stick. Well, I'm sure the stick and the roots are for something because, yeah, there's blatantly more to craft than just the canvas. It's just right now I'm focused on that. And yeah, I can start just wandering around, uh, grabbing what I need to there. Okay, so there's just materials all over the shop and uh, there was a building. Over in this direction. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the... Oh! More sticks. Take all of the flipping sticks. I saw a building just by the edge of the... Here we go. Over here. Hello. What precisely are you? The Abandoned Tower. Ooh, very, very nice indeed. And it's locked. And I do not actually have the key. But making paintings drains inspiration. Gain inspiration by exploring new places and trying new things. Ooh, trying new things makes you inspired. <laughs> These are really interesting meters that you don't normally get in video games, which is why I'm so excited for this game, because it just seems to, yeah, basically throw out the normal mechanics I'd expect from uh, an explory thing or a survival thing or a walking simulator. It's just very open to 
to trying new stuff and having new meters, like an inspiration meter. Just, you know, that you fill up by doing stuff and, oh, I love it. And there is, ah, old Lindo. Okay. So this here, and there we go. I've just got myself some inspiration spot on. Yeah, this will be presumably where the town used to be once upon a time, but seems to have been abandoned. It started actually falling into uh, the river over here. And, hello, is this actual... Oh, I think it's actual planks, isn't it? Is that some actual planks? Yeah, that's boards. Okay, we're on our way to our first canvas here. Oh, flippin' love it. Now, can I actually... I can. I can get into the old abandoned house here. Okay, I've sort of fallen in love with this game already, to be perfectly honest. And, aha! Reading notes gives you inspiration as you learn about what's actually going on here. Ah, and that's why they abandoned it. Because we saw the house had partially collapsed. That didn't happen after it was abandoned. That was why it was abandoned. It was built right by the river. But then, as the weather actually got worse, yeah... The bank was worn away, and eventually, the stilts that propped up the house gave way, and one of the houses uh, collapsed into the river. And they abandoned the whole place afterwards, because it wasn't safe. And we've got more actual planks of wood there, and some paper or something. I can just take that candle too. Some more stuff there. Oh, lovely. This house has been a right little treasure trove. And I think there's also just little stories being told here. So this book just tells a story about a water fox. Celios laid out his blanket in a patch of sunlight. His water fox, Nida, sniffed about, searching for a nest of eggs to snack on. Stomach growling, he pulled out some frosted biscuits and berry wine from his pack. Nida howled in excitement. She'd found a nest. With a thick crunch, she cracked into the egg, hungrily lapping up the contents before batting the empty shell aside. Celios grimaced as she started on the second egg. As charming as he found water foxes, he couldn't stomach their eating habits. You see, that's just flipping perfect for a game like this, where it's a relaxing, chilled out, wander, explore and paint game, where you just stumble across little snippets of stories at the same time. That's just spot on. Oh, I've already got fabric. I have got myself a canvas. Yes. And here we go. So now, anytime I want to, I can just make a painting. So I can also, ah, I can make it portrait or landscape or make it super widescreen. Nice. I don't want to do that though. I will just kind of back off for the time being. So yeah, now I can make my first painting anytime I want. Okay. Now I do see a bridge off in that direction further up the river from where old Lindo collapsed. But let's not go there yet. Let's actually go and find Lindo just in case, yeah. I've got some basic tutorials here to tell me how to make a good painting because as I understand it, I need to sell paintings that contain like specific things. Like people are going to say, hey, I want a painting with the sea in it. So therefore you need to go and get the right painting in order to sell it to the people. You know, I read something really, really interesting about this game, which reminded me I wanted to play it today, which is... Uh, originally, this game was supposed to be like a bit more of a traditional survival game. But then, as they playtested it, they realised it actually worked better if they stripped out some of the survival mechanics and made it just, you know, a more chill, relaxing experience where resources weren't particularly scarce. It wasn't particularly difficult to keep yourself going. And I do find it very, very interesting indeed when a game changes direction during its development, where they look at what they're doing and think, potentially is there a better way? And a game even effectively changes genre, because I wouldn't describe this as a survival game at all. Like, it's just not anymore. Now it's a totally different thing, and uh, I'm very happy they made that change, because it's lovely now. Right, back at the village, and... Uh, ooh. Okay, there's big blobby things that we can just actually grab off these giant, like, flowers. Okay, I'll be having some of that, thank you. Now, what do all of those do? Those are white bloom sacks. Okay. Not sure what that is, but is this Lindo? Might be Lindo. By the way, lovely design touch, obviously. There's no compass. There's nothing that, like, says, hey, you need to go in this direction because this is where the next thing is. You just have to figure it out for yourself. Just explore, look around, get to a high spot, try and figure out what's going on, and, uh, oh my, this place is... <laughs> it's lovely. It's just got some beautiful, beautiful visual design. Now, 
My mother said one of her last wishes was uh, that I actually make a painting from the top of the tallest tower. Now is this here the tallest tower? Because if this is Lindo, I don't see a taller thing. Ah, wait. She said the common tower in the big city. This isn't the big city. This is Lindo. So, okay. Let's not actually use up a little portrait here because... Honestly, I don't really like the framing up there. So, okay, let's just actually ask around for a minute, see what else is going on here. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Oh my goodness, I just rolled up in town and the first person I speak to just gave me a cup of tea. <laughs> this is the loveliest game I've ever played. Ah, now this is cute. All of the locations I've discovered are also conversation topics. So, uh, she actually lives here in Lindo. So, what can you tell me about old Lindo that I just stumbled across a minute ago? The original town built on the river. I remember hearing that it got destroyed in a mudslide. I heard that when I was really young. Alright, so you can just learn little things about the world by asking people about the stuff you found. Oh yes, I saw that from the ship. It looked as if there was a light coming from inside. Could it be a lighthouse? Ooh. Okay. And now I've learned something new about the abandoned tower. Probably not so abandoned. Also, I know this is all really beautiful and picturesque, and I'm probably not supposed to be questioning this, but what am I actually looking at here? Because all the people are animals. But this here is also an animal, but, like, it's still been tied to a car. Like, is this slavery? Are you okay? Do you need to be rescued? No, he can't speak, unfortunately. Possibly he's scared of speaking, so if he does, he'll be whipped. If you're ever in need of carriage to Nava, I'm your driver. Ah, now, Nava, that's lovely. That's fine, I don't want to go there right now. Is that the big city, by any chance? My ox is strong. No? Okay, your ox is strong, but is your ox actually a slave and do you pay your ox? Ah, now here's interesting. So one of the dock workers ask him about the abandoned tower. I remember playing in there as a kid. The ocean looks beautiful from the top. I wish it wasn't locked up. Okay, bit of a hint there. Might want to get in there and paint the ocean from the top. Maybe he'd be interested in that painting. Ah, and in a book at the end of this little storage warehouse thingy, we've got more story about the tower. Once an old lady went up into a tall tower right on the coast. She stayed up there watching the ocean and eating snacks until it was past her bedtime. Then she wanted to go home to see her cat. She started to go down the stairs, but she fell because she was so tired. Then she died. She turned into a ghost and now she stays in the tower and haunts it. She turns on the light whenever night comes so her cat can find her, but the cat doesn't ever go because the tower is too scary. The end. Also, is that kid also an artist? Because that's flipping adorable. Hey, are you an artist? I am. Is that a... That's a bird with a fish and presumably the tail of a whale. Hello. Hey, you have an easel. Are you an artist? I do. Are you also an artist? So am I. Do you want to see what I made? Yes, yes I do. Talk me through your work. So yeah, you definitely worked really hard on this. Well done. It took all day. But I want to make my next one even better. What should I do? Ooh, okay. So yeah, start with a nice canvas because that paper looks a little bit crumpled. But I don't know how to make a canvas. Ooh, I can actually show you. It involves, yeah, uh, planks and paper or something. All right! You're a nice artist after all. I am. So, yeah, boards and fabric. I know where some boards are. Follow me. Oh, spot on. I'm guessing she's actually going to show me a place where there's enough for her, but also some spares for me to make an extra easel too. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this game's so damn charming. Aha, here we go. There's some wood. Grab that. Paint something? I want to watch a real artist. So, I've probably got the materials that I need already. Yeah, absolutely flipping loads of them, in fact. So, uh, craft that. And you know what? Craft another one, too. Spot on. There you go. That's how you do. 
You do some sort of odd things, don't you? Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. Oh, I've got my first flipping commission here. Emmerich wants me to actually paint his picture. Okay, this, this is good. Right, so we've got a bit of a pompous patron here, but that'll flip and do the job. Yeah, okay. How are we going to, how are we going to do this? Yeah, we want plenty of books in the background to make him look all sophisticated. He probably wants a portrait just of him, right? So yeah, I can, no, no, look at the book, look at the book. Be sophisticated and just look at, the, there we go, paint. And, oh, that's really cute. That's so flipping cute right there. Painting is amazing! I want to try, can I have a canvas? We found enough stuff, right? Oh, go on, Sanja. You did help me find some wood earlier. You can indeed have a canvas. There you go. I'm going to use this for Miss Nika's next painting. She loves art so much. Hey, Miss Nika loves art like us. She always likes my paintings. I bet she'd like yours too. She really likes the eclipse. You should draw her that. All right, so that's done right there. And a hint as well, together with, oh, I really like, yeah, the watercolor style. That's amazing. Right, do you like, oh, I can actually browse them too. I can actually just like skim between my different paintings. How do you feel about this painting, my good man? Because it's very much of you, which I think you're going to appreciate. Oh my, that painting, it's the most perfect thing I've ever seen. I simply must have it. Oh my goodness, this is actually the most wonderful game. <laughs> I've fallen in love with this. Here you go, you can have the painting, but I expect to be paid. Can you imagine an entire wall filled with paintings of me? I like Emery. I like him a lot. You're great. Maybe I'll come back and paint you some more later. Where's the path that leads up to that big building over there? Hang on. Here we go. It's right by the inn over here. And I need to get up high so I can actually scout out the surrounding landscape. Great viewpoint, isn't it? Ooh. Nika just followed me up here. Hello. Look, the eclipse is starting. Oh, is it? Is the eclipse starting? Hang on. Did an eclipse... Is it happening? Oh, 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 hang on. Hang on. I need to... I need to paint the eclipse. I'm not allowed to paint the eclipse. Can I paint the eclipse in a second? Let me paint the eclipse. Nika will love it. Ah, because there's a big moon or another planet in the sky. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. Um, I need to... I wasn't allowed to paint it. Ah, and I get a lot of flipping inspiration from that. Spot on. And of missing seeing it from solid ground. Ah, apparently it's a daily event. Fine, I can catch it any time. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. Oh, everyone in this game is lovely. Actually, you know what? I've had a really lovely time in this village, and everyone's been so super friendly to me. I want to paint a picture here. Not because, you know, a quest told me to or anything, just because I feel like commemorating it. It's like a super fancy watercolor version of a photo mode. Okay, where can I get the nicest view? of the town from, because actually I suspect maybe from the top of the bridge, or maybe from out of the dock if I wanted the... No, actually. This here is pretty nice. This is... Yeah! We've got the inn, we've got the houses, we've got that lovely thing at the top, but then we missed the seafront. Yeah, I'm going to actually go right out to the dock and see if I can get a better picture from there. Oh, yeah, here we go. If I hop on top of these boxes so I'm a little bit higher up, I can also get a bit of the sea in, because, yeah, oh, this is perfect. That's actually really lovely. Uh, yeah, I'll take canvas number two, apparently. That'll be fine. Now, we need it to be super wide and super tall as well, uh, because I want, yeah, a bit of the warehouse. I want the tower up there, and then I want just a bit more of the water, just a bit further down. Oh, yeah, that's actually perfect. That's actually gorgeous. I'm going to wait for that guy to actually be in the frame as well. And the kid. And just wait for him to be past that. And the kid to be around the other side. So I want everyone in. And wait for him to come around the far side of the fountain. Boom. Oh, look at that. That's so gorgeous. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's really nice. 
I love this game. This game's wonderful. Right, I need to start moving a bit further inland. This is a lovely village to start off in, but I need to head further inland. So, uh, the woman said that she could give me a lift to Narva, but... I kind of don't want to just, like, skip traveling through the countryside, to be honest. I'd rather just, like, you know, go on foot. So if she's over here, and there's a road going in this direction, then uh, there's got to be stuff in this direction. So I'm just going to follow the road and just see what I come across. Because uh, it's not the destination, it's the journey. I'd say that's, you know, probably the big thing about this game, actually. So, hang on, that is... Uh, yeah, that's just basic routes right there. And then... Ah! This actually loops around to the bridge. That's the bridge that's just over from Old Lindo. That's just over there because I saw this bridge in the distance. And uh, there's actually something over there. Is that a hobbit's hole I see before me? Ah, wait, hang on. There's actually a toll. Am I allowed over the bridge? No, this is a toll bridge. Okay. How many actual glowstones do I have? 40. Okay, so you can't just go anywhere until you've actually got the glowstones uh, to pay the bridge. Because even though it's an honour system, apparently I take that sort of thing very seriously. And hello, you're a fisherman. Can I help you out for 20 glowstones? There's a gazebo in Lindau. Real pretty spot. Maybe you've been there. Anyway, I'd like a painting of that view. Okay, painting out of the gazebo. Now, facing the town or facing a different direction? The gazebo is easy to find. It's just behind the inn. And I want the painting from the gazebo, not of the gazebo. It's the view, not the building, if you get my meaning. Yeah, I think I get you right there. Back to town, if he just pays 20, I can start exploring the wider island. Ah, this is the other advantage of exploring. Not everyone lives in a town. There's an owl just chilling out here. There's nothing like a good book on a day such as this. Actually, books are the perfect way to spend any day. Do you enjoy reading? I do, and I also enjoy this game. Thank you for creating it. I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps I can share my favourite books with you sometime. My favourite books are the ones that inspire me to write myself. How about you? Ooh, I feel the same way. Good books don't encourage me. I'm not much of a writer. I used to write, you know. Before I made YouTube videos, my creative outlet was I used to write a lot. I actually wrote huge amounts back in the day. So, yeah, I do feel the same way, Eunice. That's a lovely sentiment. We creatives, me a writer, you a painter, we've got to stay inspired. Best way I've found is to drink many, many cups of tea. Always gives me a boost. Speaking of writing, if you find any feathers around here, I'd happily buy them. I'm constantly losing my quills. I figure three should do it. For now, though, I must get back to reading. I think something fabulously dramatic is about to happen. Is there something else? I might actually have those feathers immediately. And also, I love that this game is so aggressively British. There have been two mentions of tea so far just in the starting village. Ah, now that's interesting. Yuna still lives in Old Linda. Oh, I think I may have ransacked your house. If I did, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that house was full of books and he's an avid reader. So that must have been his house I stole everything from. I'm really sorry. I think I saw your house actually. Do you want a painting of it by any chance? Did you manage to take a peek inside? Uh, yes. Yes, I did because the curtain was open and so was the door and you didn't nail down your personal possessions. Ah, so far I've only got two feathers. Okay, so I need to find another feather sitting around somewhere. I picked up two so far, and also there's... Okay, there's a massive... I don't know, possibly this is a shortcut from Narva, which is way in that direction, back over to here, in like a cable car or something. Okay, that's cute. And then, yeah, the river actually curves around this direction. And I can't get past the river until I've actually paid the bridge toll. Gotcha. And any chance is that? Yep, there we go. Feather number three. And a whole bunch of people chilling out down here by the water. Hello, are you having a lovely picnic? Because that would just be spot on. Oh, it's more owl people. Okay, there's actually quite a lot of owl people dotted around. They're not interested in chatting though. They're just having a lovely picnic by themselves. Well, have a lovely day, guys. Okay, so that was 10 glowstones right there. And I think he just said, uh, yeah, he'll actually give me one glowstone for each one beyond that. 
So I think I do actually have, yeah, one right there. So go on, get up to 51. So he'll only pay me one from now on, which is not so generous, but may as well keep it in mind, grab every feather that I do see. Also is, oh, I think time's getting on for the day here. Hang on, I need to get that painting done and then drop that off with the fisherman and then maybe it's time to, oh, no, it's not time to go to sleep in the inn. After that, it's time to investigate the haunted tower. Here we go. View from the gazebo. This has got to be the gazebo, right? Because well, that's that's not really a gazebo. I think this is the gazebo. Yeah, this here, this is a very, very nice view. So we'll just slightly adjust that so that tree's not in. And wait for the bird. Go. Honestly, I don't think it's anywhere near as nice as this one. That's just a flipping masterpiece. But if he wants it, he shall have it. Well, looky here, you've gone and painted the gazebo view. Are you willing to sell it? I am for the right price, but apparently I don't negotiate on that. I just give you the painting and you pay whatever you want. Oh, how about that? Got myself something fancy. Oh, 25 glowstones. That's more than enough. That means... Uh, oh, yeah. It is time to open up the bridge. Boom. That bridge is now open to me. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice right there. I just want to very quickly check out the Hobbit house. Then I'm heading back to town and we've got ourselves... Ooh, hello. Right, that is, uh, yep, some wood and some more wood as well. And a little book here. Botanist Guide to East Shade. Ah, those little things, the bloom sacks. Yeah, what do they actually do? Full of air, viscous sap and seeds. Okay, and ah, it can be turned into a beverage. That's why they export it. Gotcha. And this is apparently Onar's house. Okay. Now, who exactly is... Oh, hello. What What happened there? Oh, I think that was just me getting some inspiration. By the way, I'm going to be having everything you haven't flipping nailed down. Because that's just sort of how I work. But no one ever calls me out on it, so it's fine. Well, whoever Onar is, he doesn't seem to be here right now. And Oh, it's definitely getting late. Right, I need to get back to town before I, like, freeze to death. Oh, hang on. Are you Onar? Hello. No, oh, hello there. Mind the plants underfoot. What can I do for you? Nothing much, to be honest. I'm just saying hello. Right, nothing much from him. Let's get back to town. Because, yeah, the game is implying it's very cold at night. But I did see a note that, yeah, one of the things I can buy from the inn is, like, a really warming beverage for six glowstones. So if I need to go exploring at night, I might want to get that first. Here we go. Made it back. I'd say it's still very much evening. It's not dark at all yet. We're just, you know, into a bit of dusk here. Right. Time to check. Is the tower lit up? Because it looks like it's not so far. That's the tower over there. Oh, hello. I'm... No, I'm getting cold. I'm getting cold. Okay. I'm heading to the inn now. Don't panic, game. Don't flipping panic. I'm going to go get myself a warming beverage. Here we go. Keeps you warm on a cold night. Spot on. So, if I actually drink that, hopefully I'll be okay out in the cold. Is that how this works? Okay, step outside. Uh, give it a drink. Yeah. Drink it. And now... Aha! Now I am warmed up with a special little glow. Probably because I'm a little bit on the drunk side. And that tower is most definitely lit up right now. Ah, I've got a timer down on the bottom left. I see it, I see it, I see it. Okay, so we've got to make it over to that tower within this time limit. That's fine. If I just go this way, I should be able to intercept with the path. So this is basically, yeah, a certain timed amount of night walking. Other than that, it is far too cold for me. Hello! What, what are you? Are you just a little... I don't know! You're a little, well... You're probably just a mouse, but you've got some odd circular markings. But don't get distracted by the mice, John. You're on a flipping time limit here. You do not want to freeze to death here, okay? Yeah, that is most definitely lights on. And there's a person up there. Okay. Hello. Who are you? What are you doing that so late? Ooh. Bloody hell, Ingoff. Right. Don't sneak up on me like that. Yeah. I'm guessing you're bringing supplies to someone. Oh, dear. I must ask that you tell no one about this. The information you have is already too close to uncovering the truth. I'm delivering supplies to... someone who is hiding in the old tower. 
That old tower was once used to communicate urgent messages to Nava using signal fires. Some years ago, the need for such a tower faded, and it fell to ruin. That old tower? Someone has taken up residence there. I suppose one could say this person is hiding out. They wish not to be bothered by anyone, and that's something I can relate to. Alright, and I'm guessing you're not willing to tell me who. This person wishes to remain unknown, and I mean to respect their wishes. I help lock it up, and only I hold the key to enter. I deliver supplies at night. Okay, would you at least tell me why they're hiding? I think they feel that the world of people is no place for them. I'm not sure this is the right solution, but the choice is not mine to make. I do hope you decide to keep this a secret. Its exposure means nothing to you and everything to the one who dwells in the town. Okay, so I have managed to uncover a bit of a secret here, and we do know that this guy has the only key on him. Well, my time's almost up, so fortunately, I'm almost back at the inn. Right, so exploring at night, that actually is very much on a time limit. And hello, why did you just run outside? What's wrong? What are you looking at? You're... I don't know, but I need to get back inside right now before I freeze to death. Oh, and I've just found a book on the architect of Lindo. So, engineering marvels, difficult to construct as they are, beautiful. Design of these technical endeavours, the work of one eccentric genius, a Zad of- Oh! I'm guessing that's the person who lives out in the tower. Is it a Zad of Tarrier by any flipping chance? Five years ago, this incredible architect vanished. Yeah, it totally 100% is. He is perhaps most widely recognised throughout Eastshade for a rare genetic facial disfigurement. Ah. Right. Interesting. Now, if I had to guess, by any chance is he going to be the only person in the game who actually looks like, you know, a human being? Is that going to be the facial disfigurement? Because I guess that's going to be what's happening. Now, that opened up a new discussion point as well. Time to ask around, see if anyone knows anything about the architect. That poor man. He had quite a gruff personality. Not very sociable. But I don't think he meant to offend people. I hope he's very happy, wherever he is. Yeah, he's totally on top of that there tower. Yeah, not much more investigation I can do tonight, unless I want to spend even more of my money on the little warm potions. No, better to just sleep until morning, if you'd be so kind. Here we go, it is most definitely daytime. In fact, maybe I could have got up a little bit earlier. Right, it's time to find Ingov. Because now, I have the conversation topic, the architect. And I've spoken to him at night when he's sneaking out the supplies. So, uh, I've totally put two and two together here, Ingov. You just... Those birds are just holding perfectly still. That would make an excellent, if slightly confusing, painting. Well, I suppose you've already connected the dots. I knew someone would guess it eventually. The one who dwells in the tower is the architect of New Linda. The one who designed the beautiful buildings. The one who has been missing for years now. Maybe this is for the best. Perhaps it's time someone talked to him. And maybe it's best if it's an outsider. I think, deep down, he doesn't want to be living in the tower. He is rash, and he is proud. Would you talk to him? I'll leave the door unlocked for you. Alright. So now, he is rash, and proud, and everyone seems to love his work, but think he's a bit on the grumpy side. Alright, keep all that in mind. Let's go have a chat with him, or do you mean tomorrow or tonight? Alright, so, no one up top of the tower right now, so he goes and stands at the top, and it's open. Alright, so, the question is, ah, maybe he is up top actually. Okay, let's, before we do anything, steal all this, I probably shouldn't steal all this stuff. That's not a good starting point, and ah. Plenty of bottles and goblets. Okay, and yeah, more empty wine bottles. Alright, might have a bit of a drink problem here. But, he's not here right now. What we do have, have is, uh, yeah, the view of the ocean that someone wants to... Oh, hang on, who was it that said it was really nice? Oh, Flip, was it... Was it the little girl? One of the kids? Somebody said the view from up here was really nice, but they never actually commissioned a painting, so I'll leave it be. And that means today I'm free to do my own stuff. And don't forget, 
Today, when the sun goes behind the planet and we actually have uh, the eclipse, get a painting of that for the innkeeper. Because Sanja did say that's what the innkeeper really liked. Well, going out at night does actually cost me money, so I may as well head on my way, see what else I can run into, see if anyone else wants any paintings or anything done. So, the guy who's a gardener here in his hobbit hole, he's not really interested in chatting, so uh, let's just, yeah, carry on. Make sure whenever we get a moment of darkness, try and get into a position to... Hello there. Ooh, are you on a raft of these things? Oh, yes, I did read that in a little bit of lore. These little pods, they float. Hello. You're Bojan. Ah, yeah, you're the gardener's son, or some close relation. He said, uh, yeah, I don't want to move to the big city. Bojan wouldn't like it. Are you okay, my good man? Of course. And you're sitting on, yeah, the little kind of the seed pod things. It is a bloom, Sakura. And did you make this? I did. And could you teach me how many chants? I might, but only if you meet the right requirements. And what are those? My only requirement is that you be my friend. One of my best friends, to be exact. Alright, so... Probably is a good starting point. Let's get to know each other. Figure out what your deal is. I understand. Quite reasonable. Let us begin learning about one another. Is your favourite colour orange or yellow? Okay. Actually, orange is, well, orange is one of my favourite colours. But to be honest, yeah, it's purple that I am very, very fond of indeed, as you may have guessed. That lovely hot fuchsia. That is all over MATN. So I do have to say purple. It's neither of them. Hmm, I see. Now, now, if you had to choose between eating slugs or cakes, which would you eat? Difficult. But I guess I'll go for cake if you force me to. Maybe I can make you some slug cakes. This next one will be tricky. If you saw a frog stranded all alone on a lily pad, what would you do? Ooh, interesting, because this guy does seem to be sort of stranded all alone on a lily pad, perhaps, in a way. And, uh, I mean, a frog on a lily pad all alone, you kind of should leave it be, because that's where it's supposed to be. Like, I know that's not true for this guy, but maybe I should say... I mean, yeah, that's normal for frogs, isn't it? Just because it's normal doesn't mean it's acceptable. Please, consider how the frogs feel about it. I feel as if I have come to know you very well. Would you agree that we can be friends now? Yes, I think we can be friends, and I'm going to guess that you want me to get you more of those pods, and I do have some of them, so that'd be fine. Oh, wondrous. Here. Now we can sit on rafts together. You'll need some twine to keep it all together. I don't know how to make that, but owner has a lot of it. Ooh, okay. I can make my own flipping raft. Ooh, I've got wax and I've got twine. Well, I don't have twine, but I do have roots. Okay, I'm going to make a raft so me and him can chill out on a raft together. It's going to be brilliant. I can show you how to make twine, but it is a process. I see you're a painter. I would so love some artwork in my home. I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. What do you say? If you make me a painting, I'll teach you how to make twine. Strikes me as a very reasonable deal. Go on then. And while I'm thinking about it, how many roots do I have? Oh, I've got 17 roots. That's got to be flipping plenty. But it's not just going to be roots. It's going to be those pots. Now, I have been gathering them up, so I've definitely got a few... But yeah, let's just actually loop round, make sure I've got plenty. Oh, and it's almost eclipse time as well. Okay, that's fine. I was just swinging through the village to make sure I got plenty of roots and plenty of all the rest of it. And I do actually have plenty of uh, wax already. So let's just actually start moving towards the beach over here. I think I've actually grabbed every single bulb in the starting area. So yeah, I can't see any more because... Uh, Painting of the Eclipse for... Uh-oh. Oh, there's trees in the way. There's a lot of trees in the way. Hang on. Get down onto the beach. Get down onto the beach. There should be a view from there, hopefully. Here we go. 
down over here, we're going to have a lovely view of the Eclipse. Hang on, I can get into a better position yet. And we know for a fact the Innkeeper loves this view. Let's just get round over here. And oh, I can have the boat in the background. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. All right, here we go. Now we just wait for the right moment. All right, crop this just right. We want the Eclipse right in the middle, obviously. And there we go. Boom. That is the Eclipse. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, the innkeeper's going to love it. Right, we can drop that back in with her momentarily. And, ooh, everyone's got their own little routine. Ingo doesn't just, like, you know, sit perfectly still. He actually occasionally likes stepping out onto the beach. Oh, that's really lovely. That's flipping lovely. Right, hang on. I'm going the wrong way. I need to actually follow the path down here. And then the sun should actually come out in time. Because, yeah, if you're going to make a sandy beach portrait, then it probably ought to be, like, you know, in the sunlight and whatever. You just need to wait for... Actually, this is kind of beautiful in its own way, too. This is... This is probably fine. And actually, the fact you're here right now is actually... Actually, no, I preferred it when I was at a higher elevation. I'm going to be a little bit further up. Yeah, that's really nice. That's actually really nice right there. So, we've got the sandy beach right here, a bit of driftwood. We've got someone right there as well. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's a bit distinctive, isn't it? It's lovely and red. And there we go. The sun starts to emerge and the normal lighting is returned to the world. So, it's half twelve right now. We've got plenty of time. Though, to be honest, if I'm passing by the inn anyway, I probably want to actually buy the magic juice that lets me be out at night right now. Ah, yes, of course. And she's not actually in the inn right now because I know what her routine is already. When the eclipse happens, she likes to watch it from the pavilion. You know, this weirdly reminds me of Majora's Mask, which is great because Majora's Mask is a brilliant Zelda game. and I think it's aged remarkably well. So many fascinating, great systems in there. And yep, spot on. There she flipping is. Goodness, the painting of the eclipse is lovely. Is it for me? Yes, it is. It's a gift, because you've been very lovely and helpful and friendly to me. You gave me board and lodging for no cost. I bet Sandra put you up to this. Ah, oh, this is lovely. You're too kind. I'm going to hang this in the room upstairs. Oh, that's really nice. So it actually gets hung in the world where you can see it. And I also get 20 glowstones for my trouble. Spot on. And I will actually very kindly spend some of that right now on your own wares. Spot on. This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. I think it's quite nice, actually. I've done a good job there. So, if I want to make a raft, I'm going to be needing... Ah, I've already got more than enough bloom sacks, but I'm going to be needing some twine, which I can actually, yeah, make nice and easily. So that's fine, but... Sealant. That's a bit of a problem. Right, back to Bojinx. He gave me the schematic, so... Uh, Presumably, he'd be the right person to ask to find out more. Okay, neither he or his dad do. Oh, by the way, have you actually hung up that painting? Does it actually get put up in your house immediately? Oh, I really hope it does. Right, someone around here must have something to do with sealant in that case. So, hang on. Oh, it is! He's actually hung it up. My paintings actually get put up in the world. Oh, that's really cool and I flipping love it. Right. Let's just actually continue the journey down the road here, see if I can find any other quests or anything, and keep an eye on the time, because obviously I'm going back to the tower tonight to speak to the architect. Alright, so we've got ourselves two roads here, and East Shadian Black Thistle. Do not pick, pluck, or pull. Okay, make sure we do that, it's probably valuable. And we've also got another path over here, including... Ooh, big tower! Ah, and we've got ourselves more here. Right, so this is how the little, like, cable car system works, I'm guessing. There's, like, yeah, ropes going from tower to tower, but right now it's not working. Also, there's a fisherman down here. By any chance, would you actually like to have yourself a painting of some fish or something? No, in fact, she just wants to fish. No interest in talking to me whatsoever. Here we go, massive tower. Now, can I actually get inside, or is it going to be all... No! Middle tower. Oh, it's a flipping lovely view from up here. And that is... Ah! I'm guessing 
from the fact there's a big house over in that direction. Is that Narva? Oh, hang on. There's Yeah, there's big domes over there too. That's got to be Narva in that direction. Gotcha. So yeah, that's pretty much confirmed because uh, this here, that goes over to there and... Ah, is this not a cable car? Is this a system of communication somehow? Because they said we used to have the fire towers, but we don't need them anymore. Is this why you don't need them anymore? Because somehow you transmit, like, messages, like, I don't know, Morse code or something, through, like, tugging on a rope or something like that. Could be. Well, if that's middle tower, that would suggest that, yeah, the next tower along is going to be one of the endpoints. So we know where one endpoint is right now, which is just outside Lindau. So if we just actually, yeah, follow this rope along here, presumably, well, I imagine someone's got to be keeping an eye on this system, right? Yeah, here we go. Little house here. Oh, the Great Shade. Wait, hang on. The Great Shade. The Great Shade would very strongly imply the Great Tree. You'll know it when you see it, the Great Shade. Oh, I think I've actually found one of the portraits that my dead mother wanted me to actually make. The giant, ridiculous mega tree. So expand it out. I'm guessing this is the mega tree, the first of my actual pictures. So let's see if this is good enough. And paint. All right. So that is a lovely view of the mega tree. It includes the little tree house. Yeah, job done. This is one of my mother's most beloved places. Uh, to keep it safe, preserve her memory in the painting menu. I'd like to preserve this one, please. Oh, and this is really nice. If you're standing underneath the great shade, then uh, yeah, you actually get leaves falling all around you. Right. It's starting to get late. I need to head back towards Lindau. Because, of course, yeah, when we actually... Uh-oh. It might actually be a bit too late, actually. Because I think it's... Is it 6 p.m.? Okay, the day doesn't end at 6 p.m., but it's definitely starting to get darker. I need to get back in the right direction soon. Drink the mead as the cold sets in. And we're okay for now. Now we just wait for this guy to appear. So, right now it's, yeah, it's somewhere about like a little bit after seven that the cold starts setting in. Here we go. I had to actually top up my supplies. Uh, it's actually half midnight and he's actually standing there. And yeah, I think the sky's all red because the moon has gone behind the, well, what looks distinctly like a planet with like, you know, blue and green on it. Possibly that's the Earth and we're on like an alternative universe moon. I don't know. But, we do have it confirmed. Uh, he's there. Who are you? How did you get in? Oh no, you are just a slightly disfigured monkey chap. Well, that's fine. That's all 100% fine. Apparently you're very good at architecture. And Ingov let me in. He thinks I should talk to you. I presume the old man told you why I'm here? Why I've chosen to live in this tower of solitude? Well, he was a little bit vague, but, uh, yeah, I think I understand, sure. You understand? Then, you know what it is to be an outsider your entire life? You've experienced what it is to be known for a birth anomaly? You can't possibly understand. Look at my face. It makes children cry. Before I left, I was the subject of chronic nightmares for one child. The father showed her a new route to school so she could avoid passing me. Estranged from all others in this tower, I am an outsider. But living in the town, I am an outsider all the same. At least here in my tower, I won't fuel the nightmares of children. I dedicated my life to becoming a great architect. For half a century, I labored at this. I built the city they live in. And how do the people of Lindau know me? I am the disfigured architect. The townspeople don't appreciate what I've done. They dwell in the marvel of my life's work. And someone wrote a book about you, you have a... No, don't tell him he's got a bad personality too! Dear, oh dear. Somebody wrote a book about you, it was really nice. Really? What did it say of me? It was flipping lovely, it was just about you being an architect. I don't think it actually mentioned your disfigurement at all. So, 
Someone's finally taken notice of my talent? Well, that is interesting. That changes everything. It's about time, this conversation. It was almost enjoyable. Perhaps I'll see you again. But now, I'm afraid it's late. Or early, I should say. I don't believe I invited you into my house. Ah, from what he just said there, I'm guessing he only shows up after midnight. Gotcha. Azad is back. I oh, know. Have you spoken with him? Only briefly. He was milling about here inspecting every architectural detail. Azad, Azad, Azad. Where have you got yourself? Because you actually seem to rather enjoy our conversation, so... Ooh! Hello! There's someone in here, and there's not normally someone in here, and this is a very pretty building. Azad, is that you? Yes! There we go! Hello, Azad! This building is truly a marvel. A masterwork of architecture, it is. Oh, I love how he's just basically wandering around talking about how flipping awesome he is as an architect. You know what? It is very, very pretty. I've decided I'm going to move away. It pains me to think that I'll leave behind my creations. But it pains me more to think of more interactions with these wretched townspeople. I'd like a painting of this very city. The composition should include this very town hall, the perched gazebo, and the inn. Ooh, I might actually already have that. This is actually my favorite painting. So, uh, I was thinking, and yeah, I can't make another one. I don't actually have the canvas for it. I was planning to keep this one, but you know what? Azad's had a very difficult life. Fine, he's, you know, a bit gruff and a bit rude. But he's had to live in isolation for years, and he's going away. And though he's not really much for social niceties, I think he really loves these buildings he's created. This is the one thing in his life he's passionate about, and he'd actually like a really nice painting to remember them by. So even though it's my favourite of all the paintings I've done, I'm going to give him that really nice town painting. Ah, I see you've made a painting of Lindau. However, you haven't painted as I've requested the town hall, the perched gazebo, and the inn. Oh, Lardy Flipping Diaries decided that this building wasn't actually flipping big enough in it. Okay, you know what? This one wasn't for you then. I'll make a different one for you. I'm keeping the nice one for me. So what he wants is, yeah, the town hall and the gazebo and the inn. And he wants them all prominent because if they get too obscured, he doesn't like it. So this sort of an angle's probably... No, it needs to be more like over here. In fact, actually, from the warehouse is probably going to be the best angle for what he wants. Yeah, here we go. This is what he's going to want right here. Honestly, I think it's a much less interesting painting, but if it's what he wants, it's what he wants. Okay, fine, it turned out a bit better than what I was expecting, but still, it's not as nice. Mine is superior. The painting of my city. It's splendid. Truly. Thank you. And I should also thank you for before. I'm glad you visited me in my town. I'd like some time to myself. This is indeed a special place. And I'd like to enjoy it as much as possible before I go. There we go. You see, despite the fact he was a bit rude up front, actually, I think he's going to really, really appreciate that painting, which is lovely. So I assume that's just about everything we can do in Lindau actually taken care of. So, uh, at this point... Moving on towards Narva. And we've made one of the four big Final Wishes paintings as well. Which is very, very cool indeed. And yeah, this lovely bear's just pointed out a water fox. That thing in the story we saw at the beginning. Apparently there's one of them that needs rescuing uh, in a cave. Somewhere very, very nearby here. There's a big house. There's a massive city. <laughs> but you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think you get the point. This here is uh, Eastshade. And... Uh, it's basically perfect. It's basically flipping perfect. And I need to qualify that just so you don't misunderstand me here. Which is, it's very, very difficult for a big complex game that wants to be like lots of different things, like a stealth game and a shooter and an RPG and an exploration thing to be perfect. That's very, very difficult to do because they're trying to do lots of things. But 
when a game just basically says, I want to do one thing, I want to have a particular single mechanic that's at the core of everything, and I want to have one particular tone, and I want to evoke one particular emotion, where this game is all about wandering around and getting to know people and making beautiful, beautiful paintings, and you're just supposed to feel relaxed and happy. I honestly don't see how it could actually improve upon itself. This is pretty much the perfect version of itself. It's... It's wonderful. It's charming. It's absolutely lovely. It's It's been a flipping joy to play, ladies and gentlemen. Link in the description below to this. I'm not sure this is out yet. I think it might be out today or maybe very, very soon indeed. But comes very, very highly recommended indeed. This is, this is a wonderful game. And I would not be surprised to see it on my top 10 of 2019. Not at flipping all, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I'll keep an eye on how this video does. We might well see this again. This could make for a very, very relaxing live stream indeed. We'll see. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. It's been many a true nerd. And this has been the Just Flipping Wonderful E-Shade. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here. And then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go! Go away. Go away. Nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.